Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandpas and grandmas, Pastor Wayne here for another page in the Bible and Pictures for Little Eyes. This is page 15, and look at this beautiful picture. We have an old man stretching his arms wide in front of a fire that's on an altar, and there's some family, there's husbands and wives, and probably Noah's wife there on the right-hand side. They're all thanking God. And there's a beautiful rainbow in the sky just spread out before them. Isn't that something? Well, let's read the story that goes with this picture. How happy Noah and his family are. They are not in the boat anymore. Now at last the water has all gone away and the ground is dry again. And now Noah and his family have come out of the boat onto the dry land. And they can see the grass again and the flowers and the trees and now the little animals can run and play. Now you can see what Noah's doing. He's praying to God. And God is glad because Noah is praying. God says he will never again punish the bad people by sending water all over the world. But God put the rainbow in the clouds because of his promise. Do you see the rainbow in that picture? Yeah. Have you ever seen a rainbow outside of your house? I know here in Colorado, sometimes we get a double rainbow. I've even seen a triple rainbow sometimes. You know, sometimes you'll see a rainbow around the sun. They call that a sun dog. Or if you've ever, it's very rare, but sometimes it happens at night. You can see a rainbow around the moon at night, and they call that a moon dog. Bet you didn't know that. Anyway, whenever you see a rainbow, remember that God is telling you that he loves you. So here are the questions that go with today's story. Who are these people? Well, that's Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. Yeah, that's the, that's the family that survived the flood. In fact, all the people of the earth can trace their roots back to Noah and his family. Here's the next question. What are they doing? Well, they're, they're thanking God that they survived the flood and they're making a sacrifice. Yeah. You see, if you look very, very close, there's a little lamb. There's a little lamb on the fire. Yeah, they sacrificed the lamb. That was how they worshipped God back then. Yeah, you know, we, we believe that Jesus is our lamb because he was sacrificed for us. And then number three, what is, what is that up there in the sky? Well, there's, there's some smoke, right? But that beautiful rainbow, it's a reminder that God will never flood the earth and destroy all of humanity again. That's like wonderful promise. Subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Go to youtube.com forward slash Pastor Wayne H. Subscribe and ding the bell and you can catch more of these stories for the Bible and pictures for little eyes. Thanks for listening today and I'll see you on the next page. See you next time.